we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel My name is Kaushiki and I make videos all about home, natural gluten-free living and mindfulness I upload video every single week so if you like this type of content then do consider subscribing but let's get started with today's video monsoon season brings nature's true beauty to life the lush greenery and the extremely soothing cool winds after scorching heat of summer is so welcomed i personally enjoy walking in the rain and watching birds fluffing their feathers after taking a happy dip in water puddles. I'm so looking forward to capture all that in my camera this season in all the Mumbai rains. But having said that, monsoon with all its beauty brings some problems of pests and other issues in our home and life. And I like to prepare my home before monsoon season hits in Mumbai. Leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. I like to add a heavy duty coir mat at the entrance of our home. Let's drive to the open. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand Adding an extra space or a tray to keep the wet shoes has brought me so much peace and keeps all the dirt away. When the shoes is nicely dry, I wipe them and only then keep them in this shoe cabinet. These hooks come super handy to hang the wet umbrellas. This simple tri-fold umbrella is super handy and it goes straight away in my bag or I can easily store it in my car door as, as well. If your city receives heavy rainfall like Mumbai, then investing in good weatherproof shoes and a heavy duty raincoat is always a good idea. I have to go to pick Ishi every day from her school and these footwear were super comfortable and these heavy duty raincoats keeps my hands free from that umbrella flying every single place. This little box contains extra shoe mitts, head cap and extra masks for all those workers who come in my house. I don't want them to open their shoes and come. The shoe mitts works perfectly. I have created a space for the raincoat and umbrella in this entryway table itself and kept them in this waterproof bag. It's super handy and easy to carry. Making a designated space for umbrella and raincoats at the entrance will be a very good idea. Mosquitoes are a very common problem around this season and with this comes a lot of health issues. 
I like to keep natural mosquito repellent right at the entryway. So every time my daughter steps out, we like to apply the mosquito repellent. I also keep the mosquito bite creams just in case of any bite. It has a really calming and soothing effect and it is 100% natural. I also use these citronella incense sticks instead of those mosquito repellent coils. I also like to add these silica gel pouches inside the shoes and in my silkware or any kind of expensive fabric that you have. It will prevent any kind of silverfish or mold development on the fabric. We have all been there. So this is a perfect solution to avoid that of situation. These absorbia or silica gel pouches are amazing products. I got it few weeks back and it has started working already. The moisture content during monsoon season increases tremendously, which is not good for our fabrics. So you can keep these absorbia silica gel boxes inside your wardrobes, under the sink. There are these white beads in this which eventually starts absorbing water. Spraying some insecticides like HIT under the kitchen cabinet and under the bathroom cabinets prevents the development of cockroaches. Adding some naphthalene balls on the open vent is also one of the solution. I have recently finished the deep cleaning of my home and I have shared two videos on those topics of living room and bedrooms where I deep cleaned all the upholsteries and the carpets. The reason for doing that was to avoid any kind of mold or sogginess that gets hidden inside these upholstered fabrics. Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car. Leave a little note and we'll drive. If you go out of home daily, then I'm sure you must be having a couple of things in your handbag. I use this type of tote organizer, and in one of the compartments, I keep this type of a disposable raincoat. This raincoat comes really handy for an unexpected rain shower that happens. It's made up of a decent plastic and I have used and reused these couple of times. I wash them with a mild detergent, dry them and then fold them and keep them back. Make sure you dry them properly, preferably sun drying. I also keep some extra poly bags and ziplock bags in the other compartment in case to protect any documents these two come really handy taking out the trash every single night is one of the very good practice but just in case the waste management doesn't come in the night then you can always tie a knot of the garbage bag and leave it in the dustbin. Additionally, you can also add one or two napkin balls at the bottom of the dustbin. 
clean the dustbin regularly and always line the dustbin with a garbage bag. These are simple little hacks that I got from my mom for specially monsoon season. I like to put some gloves in my sugar pot to avoid any kind of ant infestation. Keeping it in an airtight container is also very much advisable. I use these tiny little pots where I fill sugar weekly. Just in case you guys use a larger pot, it is always preferable to transfer in an airtight container. Talking about insects in the kitchen, adding neem leaves to rice, flour and in pulses is a very old and proven trick to keep away any kind of insect infestation in the grains. Just in case you are worried like me about weeding them off, bay leaves can also serve as a good alternative. And many a times I use bay leaves only, just to save time. Bay leaves are another alternative. You can put them in flour and it is easy to take out as well. Snacking is one of the most common things done during monsoon season, be it some spicy snacks or some sweets. But it often loses its moisture. I have dedicated this entire basket for keeping snacks, but also this airtight container specially to keep different types of cookies and biscuits which generally tends to get more soggy. Extra flour, dry fruits, nuts and seeds I store in refrigerator and the bulk packs in the freezer. This not only increases their shelf life but it prevents them from getting soggy and moldy. This also prevents them from getting rancid, especially during summer or monsoon season. Decanting spices in different containers has been a very old practice but I like to do something little more different. Instead of decanting, just take the spice out of the box in the packet that it comes. Just seal the open mouth with help of a rubber bat or with help of a clip and then store in the plastic containers. I use these wide mouth containers, it's super easy to put them back, also very easy to clean. And on the back side, you can add the expiry date. I like to use these paper tapes, they come off so easily and very easy to write on it at the same time. Just in case you do not want to invest in any of boxes or anything then in order to store these masalas try using these clips clip them up on top close the lid with the help of a rubber bat and place these boxes in the freezer like dhania patta, curry leaves, spinach is kind of part and parcel of Indian meal menu. I like to weed them and clean them, wrap them in kitchen towel and keep them in airtight containers. This increases their shelf life but also just in case of any worms or any kind of insect that is still there in the plant body 
cannot get transferred to anywhere in the fridge. I like to keep always food covered be it on the countertop or inside the fridge. I never leave food open. It not only increases their shelf life but also avoids any kind of cross contamination. Always wash your vegetables in baking soda and vinegar water. We have all been there in COVID times. I like to practice this thoroughly during my monsoon season as well as this is the most common viral season. It not only cleans the vegetable and saves me time during cooking but keeps the insects away too. I tell you what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Rainy season is one of the most beautiful season Of course it brings a lot of difficulties and needs a lot of preparation but we should not forget to enjoy it with friends and family today I'm making some onion pakoda along with some green chutney I hope you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed any of the tips, do leave me a comment. Until next time, see you. On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two.